Welcome and thank you for joining us at the MSc Transformative Learning and Teaching Admissions Talk. I will give you an overview of our admissions process and entry requirements, as well as what we look for in an application. There are a number of different pathways available on the MSc Transformative Learning and Teaching program. The most common pathway is the nursery to secondary year three, which allows you to teach from the nursery stage right up to secondary year three in high schools in Scotland. There are also more specialised streams which allow you to focus on a dedicated subject and teach from primary five up to secondary year six. We offer these routes in computer science, English, languages and maths. Applications for the Transformative Learning and Teaching Programme are made through the University of Edinburgh's Direct Application System. You can find the application portal by following the link below and selecting the Education subject area. From there, select MSc Transformative Learning and Teaching. You will then find links to apply for each stream on the right hand side of the screen. I would encourage you to read through the degree finder entry in detail to understand both what the entry requirements are and also to ensure that the aims and content of the programme meet your own learning needs. We recommend applying as soon as your application is ready and well in advance of the programme start date. For entry to the MSc Transformative Learning and Teaching programme, we require all applicants to have completed or be predicted to complete a UK undergraduate degree or its international equivalent. If you've studied at a university outside of the UK or are unsure if your degree is equivalent or what result would be required, please get in touch and my team will advise on your eligibility. For the subject specialism pathways, those running from primary five to secondary six, your undergraduate degree must contain at least 80 SCQF credits in the named subject. This means if you wanted to teach the maths specialism, you would need to have at least 80 discrete credits of maths study within your degree. This is to ensure that you have the relevant background and experience to teach that subject area. For these areas, your degree content will be assessed to ensure that you have the sufficient relevant credits within your degree. Therefore, it may be useful for you to submit a copy of your degree transcript when you have applied. English and maths qualifications are also required. However, a conditional offer can be made provided you list these qualifications as pending and that they will be completed before the start of the programme. This means you can submit an application while studying for either one or both of these qualifications. We accept a wide range of English and maths qualifications number of which are listed on our website. If you're unsure if your qualifications are suitable, you can email us and we will confirm your eligibility. Our email address will be in the final slide of this presentation. In the majority of cases, we will require you to have completed these qualifications prior to starting the MSc program. There are some online qualifications that we can consider. So if you do not currently hold nor are working towards these qualifications, please contact us for advice. If English is not your native language and you do not currently hold a suitable English qualification, we may be able to consider an application provided that you complete an accepted qualification such as higher English alongside the MSc programme and have completed it by the time you graduate. We would still require you to hold a suitable English language qualification to gain entry to the programme as is required from all applicants to the University of Edinburgh. When submitting your application, please list any outstanding qualifications as pending, so we know that you're on course to meet the requirements. A question many of our applicants have is what they should include in their personal statement. Start with the basics. Why do you want to be a teacher? Why do you want to study this programme? Why is transformative learning and teaching right for you? And how do your values as an inspiring teacher align with the philosophy of the program? You should demonstrate your experience working with children or young people in formal or informal settings. Most applicants will have classroom experience. However, we appreciate not everyone will have had this opportunity. 
So if you have done any relevant voluntary work, such as with youth groups, we will also consider this. You should reflect on what these experiences have shown you about teaching and how this influenced your own pedagogy. You should also show your awareness of the key issues in Scottish education. This is a transformative learning and teaching programme, so you should be aware of current affairs and potential changes for the future. We require one reference to be submitted with your application, however, prefer two references where possible. One from an academic source and a work experience reference from your time working with children and young people. Your reference can be an academic from your time at university or can be from someone that you've worked with in an educational setting. If you have relevant employment experience that is not directly related to working with children, we may be able to accept this. However, if we review your application and feel the reference is unsuitable, we may contact you to request another reference. Selection involves a professional interview. We do provide information ahead of the interview day, detailing what you will need to prepare, so please don't be worried. You will be briefed ahead of the day. The interview panel will consist of an academic from the Transformative Learning and Teaching Programme, alongside one other academic from the university. Only candidates who have achieved or are predicted to achieve our entry requirements will be invited to interview. We will also assess your personal statement and reference to ensure you have the experience and knowledge necessary to succeed on the programme. Unfortunately, this means that we cannot guarantee that everyone will be invited to interview. Our interviews typically do not start until February, so do not worry if you do not hear from us before this time. Interviews are held in batches and usually run into the summer period. However, this will depend on the quality and quantity of applications we receive, so please be sure to submit your application once it is ready to ensure you can be considered for a place. Within the interview, you will need to reflect on your experience with children and young people, your understanding and fit with the aims of the programme, and your commitment to lifelong learning. Incoming students will also be required to join Disclosure Scotland's Protecting Vulnerable Groups scheme also known as a PVG. Our team will provide you with further guidance on this process at that time. I hope you find this presentation helpful. I've listed my team's contact details here, so please get in touch with us if you have any questions. Thank you for listening, and I wish you luck with your application.